Hi, this is Nick. Welcome to ISG, where we talk all things real estate in the Czech Republic. Today, we're going to do the second part of our series on adding value through renovation. The question people always ask is, what should I change to increase the value of the property? But I think a better question is, what should the property look like when it's finished? The blueprint we normally look at is basically high-end new developments where you can see the kind of room sizes, the kind of finishes that people put in, that people buy every day from new de property developers. And this is the kind of modern way of living. Now, a lot of the old buildings which we look at, they'll be laid out a completely different way because they were built 100 years ago or, or 80 years ago. So there's a very different demand for what was needed back then to what's needed today. The first thing we tend to look at is the room sizes. Now in old apartments, we tend to see the room sizes probably the wrong way around. We tend to see that um, the kitchens are too small or the, the lounge is too small, the bedroom's too big, there's an enormous hallway, things like this. And we want to have a look more towards a modern way of living with a, a smaller hallway, uh, a bigger kitchen space, a bigger lounge and a much smaller bedroom. The kitchen is, a, is another key thing in, in general to look at. Obviously, a lot of the apartments that you'll see are got very old style kitchens in there in terms of layout and of course, in terms of the quality. It's one of the, the quickest ways of, of, of renovating an apartment to increase value is to add a nice kitchen and make it functional and also in the right space. Don't be afraid to move a kitchen from one, one side to the other or something like that. There's lots of ingenious ways of, of getting um, the water working in any part of the apartment. Bathrooms is another key area where you can add value to the property. A lot of the bathrooms that you see in these older buildings will be, you know, they'll be the wrong size, the wrong layout. They just don't really work as you would want in a modern apartment. Now, equally, you'll see renovations of, that have been made where the bathrooms are too big. Maybe someone's used an entire room and turned it into a bathroom. And maybe you could cut that down so you'd have a bathroom and storage or, or add part of the space to, to another room in the house. And this is really where you can add, add good value overall. But effectively, the bathroom needs to be clean, modern, and, and feel like a nice place you want to be without being too spacious. Walls and floors are the other thing where you can add value. You know, when someone walks in and they see lots of defects in the floors or multiple floor coverings, it always just has that feeling of, what am I looking at? You know, is this bad? Now, people don't look in, in too much detail at these things, but, you know, you want nice, clean walls, flat if possible, and floors also to be relatively flat and without defects and to probably have uh, the same kind of floor covering or one or two different floor coverings through the whole apartment. And that generally makes it look much more desirable in the end. Thanks for watching and see you again soon for the third part in the series.